I was coming out here to check the chickens this morning. I'm about to feed them. And two of our silkies, our two remaining silkies, are just out here sitting in the snow. What are you all doing out here? <laughs> These silkies have proven, in my book, to be less intelligent than other chickens. And they've done this before where they don't go into any cover and they just sit out. The weather report actually wasn't calling for this much snow or anything close to it. So we were totally surprised by this snowstorm. I'm going to get these two silly little birds into a warmer environment just because they're not moving around. They're not doing what they need to do to stay warm. We pretty much could be saving these chickens lives by taking them in. They might do okay out here today, but if it's going to be like this for a couple days, they need to be in a warmer spot. These birds are so funny. The silkies, will, they're kind of tame. They'll sit on your head or your shoulder like this, and no other chicken I know will actually do anything like this. I'm going to put them in this brooder area we have where they can stay warm and dry. There you go guys, I'll get you some food and water and y'all can hang out in here till the snow's gone. Yep, you remember this spot? Yeah, you grew up in here. Silkies are such funny birds. It makes me wonder if they were bred so intensively for certain traits. Um, for their looks, for their funny feathers, and they're also great mothers, so they're for perhaps they were bred for their setting ability. Maybe something got left out in the selection along the way, and maybe that was intelligence and hardiness and forging ability. I don't know. I'd love to know if you all have an experience with silkies, and if you've ever seen them behave in this way, because we are just kind of blown away every time we run across their kind of lack of um, just a, an ability to do basic things to take care of themselves, like walk, you know, 20 feet and get under the chicken pen where it's totally dry and there's no snow. All right, come on, you wanna get fed? Come in here. If you saw the other day's video, what was an accident, the pigs escaped from their fence. What was an accident turned into kind of a new experiment. I'm, keep, I'm gonna keep them in this giant concrete stall, really short term, um, but I'm just letting them root through the bedding in here and hopefully make it easier for this stall to be cleaned out in the future because the bedding is kind of matted down from the cow and the goats in here, being in here. But this is actually an example, kind of a micro example of a method that they use or maybe originally used in Sweden called Swedish um, deep compost pig raising. So in these um, deep compost systems, they're typically um, done in large hoop structures and the pigs are raised in a community setting so they have the social fulfillment and the fulfillment of rooting. The last thing that's just a huge advantage of a system like this is the end product is a huge amount of compost not liquid um, manure. If you ever want to try an experiment like this the big key is washing your bedding and making sure your bedding stays dry if you see wet spots, it means you need more bedding. If it stinks like ammonia, it means you need more bedding. I 
brought them quite a bit of new hay in here and they're very intensely interested in it. Both mommy and daddy are grabbing it and moving it around. I think they're just making nests. Sometimes they eat it, but they're both grabbing big mouthfuls and bringing it over here where they all slept in a pile last night. He's got a big mouthful of dry hay. <laughs> the babies are always trying to nurse. The dogs are always very respectful of our larger animals and just they're a little bit actually intimidated by them. They just kind of sit and stare at them. Sometimes they sniff them. Now the fun part, and you may think I'm joking, but the fun part is carrying water. All the hoses are buried under the snow. I wasn't ready for this snowstorm, so it's buckets and the creek. water chicken water I think they're gonna be just okay. But they're sure happier in here than out in the snow. I just wanna remind you all that we have a Patreon members area. I just posted a video there the other day and it's basically kind of a shareholder's report for all of our viewers who are interested on how our YouTube channel is going as a business. I think this would actually be an encouragement for anyone who has a small business or who's interested in starting a small home-based business to support their homesteading or any other dream really. We just tell you how we're doing in relative terms and how much our YouTube channel has changed our life both financially and in the amount of freedom we have. So check out the link to Patreon in the video description.